Thank you and God bless you. Welcome to Reflector Hub TV, the channel set by God's servant to bless your life, to get you inspired, and your work with the Lord will take a new shape. After listening to God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, your life will definitely turn around. I'd like you to stay tuned. Get blessed as you listen. And don't forget to click on the notification bell at the end. Subscribe, share with your friends and family, and let them also get blessed. Thank you, and God bless you. First Corinthians chapter 8, I shared with them in Zaria, and let me repeat here verse 2. First Corinthians 8 verse 2. The second is a challenge that you must continue to learn. If any man think that he knoweth anything, even if that person is a Koinonia School of Ministry graduate, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. This is my second charge. Most times, it is success that produces failures. It's a mystery and it's a paradox, but it is true. Hallelujah. When people become successful by reason of their results, they become complacent. When it has to do with advancement, both failure and success can cause the same result. Failure can bring discouragement. Success can bring complacency. Hallelujah. So anybody who intends to continue, not just remain, remaining is one part of it but you must continue because the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day you must know that as much as you have learned and you have been transformed in the koinonia school of ministry this is not all that you will need to know as far as life and godliness is concerned therefore while you celebrate one stride and one dimension of achievement your heart must be ever open to learn and to grow hallelujah ever open to learn and to grow there are many people who are limited in knowledge i would always make reference to acts chapter 18 the bible spoke about apollos of alexandria the bible says he was a great man fervent in spirit eloquent he was a very great man very very superior descriptions of that man and then the bible says but he knew only you can be great knowing only you can be great seeing only you can be great hearing only there are virgin dimensions that we need to explore as far as the knowledge of God is concerned, as far as our excelling in life and destiny is concerned. And if and when God brings you close to this body of truths, you must submit yourself the same way you submitted yourself to learn. You must be ever learning. Hallelujah. Ever learning. This is my second charge and this is not only to the school of ministry students most people hang their boots the moment they receive a certificate whether in a tertiary institution or any institution of learning um, the coordinator said something Isaac he made a very profound statement he said most people have reduced education to just certificates education the word education comes from a latin word that means to draw out something that is hidden within you not just to receive something within that which you receive in should prime something that is already resident within you are we together now we must continually submit ourselves to learning i tell myself all the time that there are many things i do not know while i celebrate the ones that god has shown me by his mercy and grace i continue to press he said this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind remember our teaching last week i press i press i press you know champions by their determination to know more they celebrate themselves only for a short time and that is enough they do not flatter themselves with the deception that comes with current levels failure seldom produces failures in fact failure is the ingredient that will ginger people to be tired of status quo and rise to become successful i think the real key to failure is mediocrity 
because you are neither a failure nor are you extremely successful you are hanging somewhere in between not belonging to any category what you know should not stop you from knowing what you need to know where you are should not stop you from pressing to go where you need to get to this is my second charge to our beloved graduates you must have the heart of a learner koinonia school of ministry is the only institution i know where graduates request to come back and have the lectures that people are graduates already but they will plead for permission to join specific classes because they still want to brush up on something again may your heart remain ever learning in jesus name i pray the third charge very quickly and then we'll get into the impartation is hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 hebrews 10 7. this is a charge to walk in purpose then said i lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do thy will O god jesus was speaking and he said this is my meat in other words this is what gives me satisfaction to do and to finish the will of him that has sent me i observed in one of the weeks i can't remember i think three or four weeks ago while having a discussion during service i did say that one of the challenges with the body of christ is that we keep bringing superior knowledge without the platform to deploy it it is dangerous to give people superior knowledge and not connect them to the platform that gives them room to deploy it hallelujah because knowledge by its design was not supposed to keep the recipient in one place knowledge is kinetic in its structure are we together so when you receive knowledge it 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 has a way of breaking that inertia it will stop you from remaining at the same position knowledge has a way of cutting you away from um stagnation it it has the quality of moving you from one level to the other so when you keep giving people knowledge without the platform to express it and the universal platform that god has given everyone to express themselves and the knowledge he has given them is purpose not everybody will have the privilege to be on this stage to teach and to preach but everyone has a god-given assignment and the power and the value of knowledge is when it is connected to purpose in fact the value of anything is when it is connected to purpose wealth is useless until it is connected to purpose growth is useless until it is connected to purpose are we together jesus saw a tree that was growing but was not producing in other words the growth was not justified by the purpose the purpose there was to take advantage of the growth and to produce fruit the growth attracted jesus and he came and did not find figs you would think jesus would say okay i understand at least you are growing he said no 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 you are taking from the earth and yet you are not living purpose he cost it no fruit should come from you again he didn't say your root should not receive water you can keep receiving it but i curse you because you are receiving you are not justifying your growth by connecting it to purpose that means nigeria should be a better place after tonight and don't you say i'm not a politician i'm not in aso rock transformation and territorial impact is one person at a time if your child becomes a better person because you're a school of ministry graduate you have added plus one are we together one million is one times one million one billion is one times one billion hundred armed robbers is one armed robber each from every family where they were largely careless in their training you have to be able to look at life from its unit the unit of life is one one anything can become anything depending on what it partners with please learn this i'm teaching you something powerful one visionary person in partnership with the holy spirit can become a leader that transform a nation one great person in partnership with a wrong company can become a disaster that becomes a lesson for a territory do not downplay the power of one 7.6 billion started with one in 7.6 billion there is one 
are we together every time you see one look beyond one you are seeing a nation so when you see one agent of change you have seen a nation change it is only a matter of time do you know one times any other number greater than it becomes that number but one times zero which is less than one becomes zero that means one times ten is what one times hundred you would think the one disappeared no the one produced multiplication so one times god you went to school one times god one times wisdom one times speed it will always give the answer of what partnered with it so it is not the one it is what it is in partnership with this is what i'm teaching you if it is one alone one as unity does not carry any power but beware of what partners with one if it is god that comes to partner with one don't you say you are just one if it is wisdom that just partners with one anytime you see someone alone don't be afraid check what else is with him because we are not alone hmm. one is powerful because it has the power to partner with anything one plus satan is satan one plus wickedness is wickedness one plus laziness is laziness are we together you must know that the bible says with god all things are possible some of our graduates who will be graduates in a few minutes would be sent by god across different strata of human activities across several nations my charge for you is that anywhere you find yourself more than being called a man of god or a businessman god has come to train and build you to become witnesses our corporate mandate i will always teach is found in john 1 6 and 7 there was a man sent from god the bible says whose name was whatever you can fill in the blank there the purpose is verse 7 the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe so all men through one man can believe all nations all businesses through one man can believe the school of ministry operates a twofold structure we train our students and we build witnesses and ambassadors for the kingdom using a twofold approach number one is through strategic and structural mentorship this is the first phase of our transformative process we believe in the power of structured mentorship where believers are immersed and subjected through a predefined body of knowledge superior scripture based knowledge hallelujah and this is what they have done for most of the time and then the other part which is what they're about to experience now is impartation this structure was born out of the observation of jesus's own ministry this is how he produced the apostles <laughs>
for three and a half years he submitted them through mentorship and then when they were done and had built capacity the holy spirit now came upon them and it produced the wonder that we call the church today hallelujah so our precious people have gone through nights days in sun in the rain through all kinds and all shades of inconveniences to arrive at this version of themselves and god himself is proud of everyone who is seated here ready to be a graduate but then the other part of it is a very very significant and a serious part because this is where on legitimate ground you get to receive an impartation an impartation of the grace that empowers you a few thoughts about impartation and then we'll pray Isaiah 9 8 very popular scripture the Bible says the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it lighted upon Israel that means when God sends an anointing when God sends a grace when God sends a mantle when God sends wisdom to an individual his intent is that it will go as far as it can go in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 7 the last sentence Paul was speaking and he said Philippians 1 7 7 he says ye all are partakers of my grace ye all are partakers of my grace that means when God empowers a person how do you know the grace that is upon a person by the possibilities that surround that person I have taught you that results are testaments they are attestations of the kind and the level of grace that is at work in an individual there are results you cannot have except under the influence of certain graces it is impossible to have certain results except and unless some graces are at work in you hallelujah in Romans 1 and verse 11 Paul again was teaching and he said for I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established the mantles that come upon you and the graces that you receive are for your establishment to be grounded to be structured so that your impact will be constructive in numbers chapter 27 we'll read 18 and 20. i made a strong observation of this in zaria and i want to do same here the lord said unto moses take the joshua now observe carefully the bible says the son of none a man in whom is the spirit don't forget that this is god speaking god is attesting to the fact that this joshua moses as he is at that point the spirit is already upon him but it is still not enough he says lay your hand upon him verse 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him charge in their sight but if you give him a leadership position they will not hear him even though he's anointed the cure for that is verse 20 thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him honor is transferable you've heard me say listen you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is a grace honor is the spiritual quality that is responsible for influence if honor is not upon you it does not matter what you have to say the nations will not hear you it takes more than oratory it takes more than sincerity of heart or correctness of information for the nations to hear you 
This is God's, this is the Bible's recommendation. He's transferring a leadership position and he's saying, listen, laying on of hands and just imparting wisdom upon him is not enough. You must take your honor. You must take your honor. I hope you know when that honor is upon you, it is not only men who hear you because everything is alive. There are times it is not men you want to hear you. You want gates to hear you. There are times it is the Jordan you want to hear you. And he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he struck Jordan. The Bible says Jordan parted Hitha and Tetha. You would have stayed and wearied yourself in front of Jordan and write a book that Jordan does not part. No, every challenge is at the mercy of the grace upon the one confronting it. Challenges are not generic. One person can stand in front of a mountain and remain there forever. And another person can come and walk through it as though it were no mountain. Believe me when I tell you that the spiritual investment that is upon the life of an individual is what defines your possibilities, even your portion in life and destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching and thank you for staying tuned. I believe you have been mightily blessed. The word of God has always been a double-edged sword, piercing through the bones and the marrow. It's a designer of the heart and the thought, the intent of the man's heart. The word of God is real. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is life. I would like you to always click on the notification bell so as to stay updated with every of our content and our posts from God's servant Apostle Joshua Seven. God bless you. Also, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, with your friends, and with everyone around your jurisdiction. Thank you. God bless you.